All right, we're gonna take a look at some word problems. These are a little tricky to do on video in that I'm gonna be saying them out loud and trying to write what the formula would be. Uh, hopefully we find them helpful if there's lots of issues with word problems. So I'll try to go slow and repeat myself. Um, so what do we start with here? This is a rate question to start off with. Okay, so it says every quarter mile takes five minutes. Okay, so you're always kind of like writing this out as a reading it. A quarter mile equals five minutes. Okay, uh, and this is assuming like I think, I assume we're walking here. Um, uh, how long does it take to go six miles? Yeah, that's miles. Okay, so quarter mile takes five minutes. How long does it take to go six miles? What we want to do here is try to figure out how long does it take to go one mile, right? And so if a quarter mile is five minutes, what we're really going to do is we'll take our five, and if we multiply one fourth times four, that would give us one, right? And then we'll do, sorry, you'd be multiplying times four over here and times four over here. Five times four, 20 minutes. Right? And if you kind of think this out, if a quarter mile takes five minutes, half a mile would be 10 minutes, right? Uh, three quarters of a mile, 15 minutes, full mile, 20 minutes. We're assuming the same rate this whole time. And then if we're trying to solve for six miles, well, if it was 20 for one, 20 times six, well, 120 minutes, okay? And that's our answer. A lot of times they won't ask you in minutes, though. They'll give you some answers like two hours and 45 minutes or something like that. Okay, so 120 minutes is two hours exactly, right? 60 minutes in one hour, 60 plus 60, 120. Okay, that's a rate type question. You can easily see something like that. Okay, total cost. This is another common one where we have cost questions. Um, okay, so you're renting a car in this question. You're renting a car, it's $15 a day. And it's also 50 cents for every 10 miles. Not realistic, there's no rail car company that does that anymore. Um, but that's, you know, you get questions like that, so it's worth looking at it, where they, uh, there's a charge per day and then charge per mile, renting a car. Um, okay, so it's 15 a day and we rent it for four days. Okay, and we'd go 200 miles. Okay, so it's important to like, I mean, you can read it first and then write this out if you want to. It's important to be writing this stuff out so that we really get too confused about what we're doing. 15 times four is $60. Okay, so it's $60 total for renting and then we have to figure out uh, how much we're gonna pay for this mileage, right? Okay, so we go 200 miles total and you get charged every 10 miles, right? So 200 divided by 10 is 20. So there's like 20 little payment periods of 50 cents each, right? And if we know that, then 20 periods of 50 cents each is 10. 20 times 0 0.50 is 10. And then we gotta add these two together. 60 plus 10, 70. That's how you do it, right? Figure out the total and then figure out what you're paying for the mileage, add them together. 70 is the answer for that one. Okay, uh, another cost one, you're gonna get some cost questions. Um, and you know, you should, in the military, uh, um, you may have to count some money. So, okay, so this is a taxi question, all right. Dollar fifty for the first mile. Fifteen cents per quarter mile after that. Fifteen cents per quarter mile after that. Uh, six mile trip. All right, so um, how are we gonna go about solving this? Okay, so first of all, 
you'd like to get rid of this quarter mile thing, right? Um, not that different from what we did with the rate question just a second ago, right? So if it's 15 cents for a quarter mile, then it's going to be 60 cents per mile. Yeah. Uh, it would be 30 cents for a half mile. So you're just going 0.15 times 4, uh, and that equals 0 0.60. Okay. So now we have, it was $1.50 for the first mile, less, now we have that 0.60. And how many miles are left? Five, right? And then we solve, right? Because it's a six mile trip total. We paid dollar fifty that first mile. We got five miles left. Sixty cents per mile. Oh, here. So point six zero times five is three. And that's what we have, right? So pull down this dollar fifty that first mile. It was three dollars. For the next five miles, 450 total. All right, so those are some cost questions. Those are kind of questions that you'll see uh, on the exam. Okay, uh, difference in square miles. Okay, so we can easily have a question like this. So we have a map and 10 centimeters equals 20 miles. On a second map, that's the first one. On a second map, 10 centimeters represents 10 miles. Okay, and then it'll say, what is the difference in square miles of, for these two maps? Right? Um, how we do this? Pretty simple, right? All you gotta do if it says difference in square miles is you have to square the mileage and subtract them from each other, right? So we have 20 squared minus n squared, okay? 20 times 20 is 400 minus 10 squared is 100, 300 square miles. That's the difference. Square mileage. Okay, then we have this. Uh, it's like a raffle ticket. Raffle ticket question. Okay, so it says we start with twenty dollars. This is our last one. We start with twenty. Okay, we buy nine raffle tick tickets for fifty cents each. Okay, so it's probably minus nine times fifty cents each. We also buy cotton candy for three dollars. How much is left? Okay, so, yeah, so we set it up exactly right. Right, so it's twenty dollars that we started with. Then we bought the nine raffle tickets for fifty cents each. We'll solve to get that by nine times 0. 0.5, and then some cotton candy for three bucks. Okay, so we have twenty minus nine times 0. 0.5 is. 450 minus 3. Okay, now 450 and 3 total 750. We subtract them out, right? So 20 minus 750 gives us 1250. And that's our answer. We have $12.50 left. We spent $7.50.